everybody. Uh, welcome to Sunday afternoon in my spare room. Um, first thing on the agenda for today is a beer. And this is Thirsty Ferret from the Badger Brewery. Now this was a recommendation from MMA Custom Knives. If you don't know MMA Custom Knives, there's a link below. Go and check out his channel. So here we go. I was having a read of the label and uh, the tasting notes. So it smells delicate, spicy hops, orange and malty and the taste is malty with a sweet, bitter balance. I think I ought to uh, put my cards on the table here. A lot of the times the flavours that are detailed on the tasting notes on the beer label I can't tell. I can t spot the basic range sweet, malty, citrusy and the darker beers can be t chocolate and toffee coffee. Most of the time just tastes like beer. As indeed does that. Tastes like very nice beer. It is malty. And it does have a very dry, hoppy finish. Well, that's Badger First Deferit. 4.4%. Very nice indeed. Uh, before we move on to the next segment, I just want to do a shout out for Richie Freeman. If you're out there, Richie, if you're watching, um, I believe you've been having some nonsense with YouTube and Google. Uh, I hope you get back to making videos soon, mate. Um, yeah, it's a shame if you've been pushed out. So, spare a thought for Richie. He was a nice fella, we hope to see him again. Now, on to the next bit. So, I'd just like to have a closer look at these candies that Knife Tech sent me, the hot tamales. I didn't know what a tamale was. Apparently, it's one of these. which is a, well, round here, we'd call it a pasty. It's a, a starchy dough, usually corn, stuffed with meat, potatoes, other vegetables, spices, etc. Then it's all wrapped in leaves, usually a corn husk, and steamed. And then served however you wish, with sauce, without sauce. There appear to be as many recipes for tamales as there are, well, Mexicans. So, what have we got? Hot tamales, fierce cinnamon flavoured chewy candies. So I've already scoffed a packet of these. Um, I'll just show you what I found when I opened them. Oh. They look sort of like jelly beans. Um, they're not as evenly shaped as jelly beans and you could say they look like bullets. You could say they're a bit like suppositories. But they have the same sort of waxy shell as a jelly bean and then when you bite into them it's a firm chewy jelly. The flavour is absolutely gorgeous. It says they're fierce. 
and with a name like Hot Tamales, you expect them to be quite hot. But they're not, they're just cinnamon flavoured. If you like cinnamon, they're absolutely spot on, exactly what you want. If you don't like cinnamon, you'll hate them. But I think they're lovely. And I don't think they're going to last me very long. In my book that Knife Tech sent me, the entry for cinnamon If I can find it. There we go. It says Cinnamon oil was used as part of a holy anointing oil by the ancient Hebrews. The leaves of the cinnamon tree were woven into wreaths which were used to decorate ancient Roman temples. And the Egyptians used cinnamon oil during the mummification process. So Hot tamales, however, have a synthetic flavouring, so they have no magical properties whatsoever. They are nice though. Now a quick message for knife techs, when you see the bookshelf behind me in some videos, you're not going to see the new book you sent me, because the way the bookshelf is arranged the logical home for the new Scott Cunningham book is just over here on the next bookshelf in amongst a little handful of books um, for space cowboys I think would be the best way to describe the section of the bookshelf where my new book's going to live. So I just thought I'd better let you know that. Now for the last section of this video I'm going back to the OpenL debate which I thought I'd cleared up in the last one. Um, basically by saying that, oh, I'll just wipe the oil off there. Let's see if we can get this in focus. By showing that the blade on this number 10 open L has a very definite um, convex grind. However, that is um, carbon steel number 10. When you look at this slimline number 10, which is uh, stainless, Even though the blade is a lot um, shallower, you can see quite clearly, I believe, that it's a flat grind. Try the other side. Sorry, this is a bit awkward. I'm trying to. I have to focus the phone in manually, tapping the screen, but I think we can see there and there we have a flat grind on the stainless steel slimline and a convex on the carbon steel regular number 10. So, having 
recently thought I'd sorted out what was going on with um, open L blade grinds. I now haven't a clue. I think whatever you've got on that knife that you've got in your hand now, that's what it is. Anything else, who knows? So, there you go. Thanks for watching.